Sir, welcome, welcome to the today's session. We will start our today's session with the new module, module number three. So now, till we have discussed about module four, module five is over. Now we'll, we are going to discuss module number three. So which is uh, having two parts. One is feedback amplifiers, another one is power amplifiers. Now in our uh, discussion of module three, we will discuss uh, feedback uh, feedback amplifiers over here. Okay. So feedback the name itself is there. Feedback. We have already come across feedback in module number four. That is negative feedback. I hope you remember that. Now we will formally discuss this feedback. Then we will discuss what is the today's topic is general feedback structure. Okay. So what is this feedback? Feedback is a uh, technique uh, in which output gets connected to the input. So output gets connected to the input of the circuit, right? Now the feedback is a most powerful technique such that it finds wide number of applications such that in this modern electronic system uh, we cannot imagine a circuit without a feedback. So that means I am going to tell uh, all the almost all the electronic circuits will be connected in one or the other form of the feedback. Right. So feedback is going to increase the efficiency of the circuit. Most importantly, feedback is a must in any kind of circuit. Okay. So now uh, the types of feedbacks are uh, negative feedback and uh, positive feedback. Negative feedback is also called as degenerative feedback. Positive feedback is also called as regenerative feedback. So most of the negative feedback we have uh, used in operation amplifiers while discussing module number four. So where we have used different types of amplifiers. Uh, where we are having negative path only, right? So now uh, we'll look after this. Um, uh, uh, if we connect an amplifier circuit, uh, if the feedback is given, such amplifiers are called as feedback amplifiers, and sometimes they are also called as closed loop amplifiers. As output is connected to the input, it forms an closed loop. Therefore, the amplifiers are also called as closed loop amplifiers. Okay. With this small basic introduction, we'll uh, discuss. Discuss the general feedback structure and remember that in all holes of this particular model's half part, we are going to discuss feedback amplifiers entirely negative feedback only. Okay, so now we start with the first important, most important topic of this amplifier model number three, that is general feedback structure. Okay, and this general feedback structure will consist of very simple one system will be there. For which a feedback path is going to be given. Okay. In in, in indirectly, I am speaking that uh, in your control system, you might have observed closed loop control system. One simple diagram, one block diagram is showing that it is having a system which is then having open loop gain A connected to the load, which is coming from the input source source through a signal X S. Now the gain, open loop gain of this particular uh, system or amplifier is A. Now let us take a feedback connected to the input through a feedback factor called as beta. Okay, so I am considering beta. If you want, you can take it as B. Okay, the arrow marks is showing the path of A and beta. Now through a feedback signal X F. Now such that this is a negative feedback. I am going to subtract this two signal X S minus X F, which is going to produce you. An error signal called as X I. Okay. So what is all about this discussion of general feedback structure is we are going to analyze two important things. One is finding the closed loop gain. If I am going to close this loop, what is the gain of this particular feedback structure that we are going to discuss? It is nothing but A F. Next, we are going to prove with this negative feedback we are going to get output follows the input concept. Okay. Now this diagram, if you are able to see this diagram, it is just a signal four diagram. Signal four diagram showing the values, a representation for x in terms of voltages and current, whatever you have done in your control systems. That type of diagram I have drawn. Okay, where it is having a forward moving gain a and beta coming to loop, forming a loop, forming a loop with the nodes called as x y and x r. Okay, this is a General signal flow diagram of the circuit. Okay, so let us start analyzing. We'll analyze to find first closed loop gain uh, AF. How to find that? For that, I need some definitions. You just observe from this diagram, open loop gain A is given as output by input. For output A, output is output is x naught. Now you just observe x naught divided by x i. X naught divided by x i is that what? Open loop gain it can also be written as x naught is equals to A into x i. Now it now next feedback gain that is beta. 
Now again, for this output is xf, input is x0. Now you can observe xf divided by x0. So that xf got a beta into x0. Okay. So now error signal has a definite indefinite this subtraction between the input source and the feedback signal. You can observe or return x equal to xs plus. So x s minus x f. Okay. So now we have we are going to try and close the loop again. A f is nothing but overall output x naught and to the overall input x s x naught by x s. Okay. So now I am I need to find this particular equation x naught by x s. But to do that I will use all these three equations. Such that I will start with from equation three we can write x s is equal to x i plus x f. Now from equation number two what is x f? Beta into x naught, x f is nothing but beta into x naught. I have substituted, right? Now again, x s is equal to. I will just observe what is x i from equation number one. X i is nothing but x naught by a. X naught by a. I have substituted. X naught is common here. If I take its LCM, it becomes one plus a beta divided by a. One plus a beta divided by a into x naught, right? So now what is the gain? Or the closed loop gain definition? It is x naught by x s. And x naught is here by s s x s I will take denominator I will send to that side. Now it becomes x naught by x s is equal to a divided by one plus a beta. It gets inversed a divided by one plus a beta. Now just observe this is simple looking like as a transfer function that you are going to calculate in your control system. G of s divided by one plus G of s into H of s. This is first just for reference. That is it is same. These two equations looking like same, right? Now our important analogy over here for A F is now just observe I got A into A into beta. This is called as loop gain. This is called as loop gain. Now one plus A beta is called as amount of the gain. A one plus A beta is called as amount of the gain. Now you just observe closed loop gain is one divided by one plus A beta times smaller than the open loop gain A. Now just observe this is the advantage of connecting a negative feedback. It is going to reduce the gain, reduce the gain, and it is independent of the open loop gain. How it is independent of the open loop gain? You just observe. If I say that a into beta is far greater than one, far greater than one means neglect this. It get cancel, a get cancel. Your answer is one by beta. You just observe the closed loop gain is completely dependent on the feedback gain whatever you have connected. Right, this becomes an advantage. Reduces the gain. Reduces the gain. Now come to the second discussion. Output follows the input for which I need. What is feedback signal? What is the feedback signal? X F. Now we are having X F equal to beta into X naught. Beta into X naught. What is X naught again? X naught is nothing but A into X I. A into X I. What is X I again? X S plus X F. X S minus X F. Right. I will just multiply this. Cross multiply. A beta into X S plus sorry minus X F into A beta. Now you just take all X F terms on side is equal to A beta into X S. Now take X F common. If you are going to do that final expression, it will be A beta divided by one plus A beta into X S. This is most important expression. Now just observe. I have got A beta by one plus A beta. Now again, if you apply same thing, A beta is far greater than one. We are going to tell. This two will get cancel. We can observe X F is equal to X S. What is X F? See feedback signal. What is X S? Now both are equal. That means output is equal to input. So output follows the input. Indirectly, I am saying that X I is equal to zero. Approximately X I equal to zero. Why I told X I equal to zero? You can observe X S is equal to X F. Both are cancelled. Equal. It get cancelled. So what is X I? Of most equal to zero, so error signal is zero. Now till that this loop is going to be continued such that error becomes zero, making output follows the input. Output follows the input. Similarly, you can find an expression for x i, which is equal to one plus a into beta. X i is into what? X i is equal to one plus one by one plus a into beta. Now this this particular thing is not equal for us. Now you just observe. Two things we proved: one, open loop gain, sorry, closed loop gain, or the closed loop gain, A F, which is equal to one A by one plus A beta, and we said that A beta is greater, far greater than one, therefore it is independent of open loop gain. Second, we proved that by using feedback signal, 
output follows the input, right? So this is all about general feedback structure. Now this is a closed loop control system discussing discussing the concept of finding closed loop gain and what is output follows the input or what is the feedback signal effect or what is the effect of negative feedback on the system, right? I hope we have understood for the discussion of general feedback structure. In the next session, we will discuss the properties of negative feedback. Thank you.